Did you upheld the oath? Without more. I did not hear you. Can you repeat that again? Without more. On a hindsight, would you say, what would you say about your involvement in the deployment of armed NPP party vigilantes in, the, in, in, the police, in a police vehicle to brutalize and injure innocent Ghanaians at La Baoleshi during the Ayawaso West Wagon by elections? Mr. Chairman, there's no factual basis to that question and no proof whatsoever to the questions so posed. Were you involved in the deployment of armed party vigilantes at Ayawaso West where we're going by elections? Mr. Chairman, I think if you can afford the member the opportunity to rephrase the question that if don't worry, did you authorize any people at La Obalish? I think you have answered that question more because, than times. Because he said armed party. That, that part, that's where I need either rephrase or restate so that I'm sure what question I'm answering. Mr. Chairman, my question is clear and simple. Were you involved in the deployment? I did not say you authorized. Were you involved in the deployment of the vigilantes at La Baoleshi? Mr. Chairman, no, I was not involved. Do you know Ernest Akomia, a.k.a. Double, a dealer in mobile phones at Tiptoe Lane? Do you know him? I know Double, and I'm just now finding what his real name is, Ernest Akomia, but I don't know him as a mobile phone dealer. I want to find out from you. What was Double's role at the Office of the Ministry of National Security? I met him in the ministry at the national, see, the architecture there is that there's a national security secretariat, council secretariat, headed by a coordinator. And then there's a ministry of national security. And in, the, in their operational command, which terminates at the national security coordinator. There is the operations unit and then there's a SWAT unit. I became aware that he was embedded in the SWAT unit. Honorable Nomni, under what provisions of the law did you arm and deploy the law enforcement duties of Lao, Lao Baoleshi? Mr. Chairman, categorical statements are being made without, without facts or basis. There's nothing like that. I did not do any such thing. I did not do any such thing. Can you convince me to trust you as a Minister of State, considering, considering what happened at La Baoleshi? But uh, I told you are my friend. It doesn't matter. And today you don't trust no, me. I'm, I'm asking a question. Today you, you don't trust no, me. No, I'm asking a question that but can you convince me? You should be testifying on my credibility. No, you. it's not about credibility. I said convince me. We I are here for the people of Ghana. Okay, so we have to ask the questions that are needed. And I'm asking the but questions. Uh, Alisa, hey, I, I have to. Please, your mic's off. <laughs> 